Hola everyone, today it's time for some Argentinian wine. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. If you just survived the whitest guy ever pronouncing hello in Spanish, then you have made to this video. And this is the Trevento Reserve Cabernet Malt Black Argentinian Blend. It is a 2017, it's 13% alcohol by volume, and I paid $11 for it at my local grocery store. Uh, no screw top, just a normal glass cork. Not an ass cork, that'd be kind of gross. Just a normal cork, I'm just, this, this video is already off to a great start. <laughs> Uh, from a color standpoint, ruby, medium ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. From a nose, ooh, this smells like Merlot. <laughs> Is this the right thing, Cabernet Malbec? Is that what happens when you blend Cabernet Malbec, you get Merlot? Because this, this really does remind me of like a Texas High Plains Merlot. Um, a lot of dark fruit, um, blackberry, got some black cherry, a little bit of raspberry coming out here. It's like a red currant type of note. It's a slight gaminess, which is kind of why I said the Texas High Plain aspect of it, so a slight gaminess on the nose. I'm trying to figure out what this, what this barrel note is. I'm just gonna say sweet spice, like a baking spice because it's there, but I can't quite tell what it is. There's a little bit of a pyrazine type of note to it, like a little bit of green bell pepper, but it's slight. There's also, there's also a little bit of like a, well, like a mushroom, a little bit of a, a forest floor type effect, like wet leaves. Yeah, so I mean, it's funny though, because I'm getting all these tertiary elements and it's only 2017. To be honest, it kind of worries me a little bit because I would hope that this would age better and unless they've done something to kind of accelerate those notes, uh, I'm worried that this wine was not properly stored. So uh, let's take a look to see if I'm right about that. Well, first of all, medium plus acid. It was properly stored by the looks of it um, because all of those, other than kind of like that earthiness, um, it, it's, it's all those tertiary elements aren't there. I am getting that sweet spice. I'm gonna say it's more like, if I had to pick one, I'm gonna say it's a cinnamon. I'm gonna say it's a cinnamon, but it's so kind of all over the place, like I can't definitively call it cinnamon. If I had to guess, that's the closest thing I'd get to. Um, all that fruit is there. It's a big fruit bomb in your mouth. That black cherry is really dominant. Noticeably, the raspberry is the second dominant flavor, followed by sort of like a, a black cherry, black currant type of note. There's a touch of, of what I'm gonna say is like a, a, a coffee note. Maybe, maybe a bit of like that herbiness. I'm not getting the pyrazine on here, but I am getting what almost is like, like thyme or rosemary, something, something that's like a baking herb. It, this this is a, pretty much a medium body wine, uh, medium alcohol, medium plus acid. Uh, on the tannins, I'm gonna say you're probably about medium on the tannins. Coming from Argentina, I actually expected a lot more tannins. Or, three, two, one. Coming from Argentina, I actually expected a lot more tannins. Um, and these, are, these aren't totally soft. They have softened a little bit, uh, but overall, they're also not high on tannins. So let's take a look at this from the Blick of Grading Criteria. Balance. I think you're in balance. From a perspective of, I actually expected you to be heavier wine. It, that That is a little bit strange in, in terms of just what I was expecting, but the wine as presented to me, I feel like is in balance. Uh, length, you have a medium finish. Maybe medium plus if you're really into kind of that earthy, slightly tannic finish with a little bit of like a hot alcohol note on the end. Then it would be medium plus, but you're not a long finish, so I'm gonna name you half a point. Intensity, lots of primary fruit intensity, a little bit muted on the secondary, no tertiary whatsoever, so I'm gonna give you half a point. All right, so from complexity, you do have a lot of primary, you do have some secondary and some tertiary, just a minor tertiary, and that will continue to come out as you bottle age. So I'm gonna go ahead and for now, give you a point. So that gives you, what is that, three points? You're very good. 
I really actually like this wine a lot. I've never, I've never had uh, Trevento before, and this is, I've never had a, a Cabernet Malbec blend. And this is really nice. I expected this to be a lot heavier. This is a total like sit back on the couch, watch some Netflix, and drink what you know I love doing, and, and drink a glass of wine or two, or bottle type of wine. And I mean, Overall, I, I'm, I'm really quite happy with this, especially for the fact that I got it for $11. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Trevento Malbec Cabernet Blend? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.